Hello everyone. So now I'm going to discuss the question C. Based on the definition, it is a n definition. So we will have 2x over x plus 3 where we have the value in between 5 and negative 5. Next, I'm going to split the cases. So where we have 2x over x plus 3 greater or equals to negative 5. And 2x over x plus 3 less than equals to 5. Let's focus on the left hand side. I'm going to transfer the value negative 5 from the right to the left, then follow by equate the denominator. So 2x plus 5 x plus 3 over x plus 3 greater or equals to 0. Next, I'm going to expand, followed by simplify the situation. 2x plus 5x plus 15 over x plus 3, greater or equals to 0. So finally, we have 7x plus 15 over x plus 3, which is greater or equals to 0. Since this is the simplest form, so I mean, this is the time for us to determine the sign, where we have a positive sign. Next, we are going to split the situation and do remember, as always assume it is a positive. So, x will be greater than equals to negative 15 over 7. Next will be x greater than negative 3. Do remember, the denominator cannot be equals to 0. Next, I'm going to illustrate the situation in the real number line. So where we will have negative 3 on the left and negative 15 over 7 on my right. So empty circle, x which is greater than negative 3. Then circle, x is greater than negative 7, 15 over 7. Next, we have to put the sign in empty space. And finally, we have positive, negative, and positive. By referring to the sign, we know we want the positive region. So here will be the region. So finally, our answer will be negative infinity until negative 3, where negative 3 is not included, union from 15, negative 15 over 7 until infinity. Now I'm going to focus on the right hand side. Again, I'm going to transfer the value of 5 from the right to the left, followed by equate the denominator. So 2x minus 5 x plus 3 over x plus 3 less than equals to 0. 2x minus 5x minus 15 over x plus 3 less than equals to 0. So finally, we have negative 3x minus 15 over x plus 3 less than equals to 0. Since this is the simplest form, so it's time for us to determine the sign, which is a negative sign. Next, we have to split the situation. Negative 3x, negative 15, greater and equals to 0. x, greater than negative 3. So, x will be less than equals to negative 5. So, next, I'm going to illustrate the situation in a real number line. So negative 5 will be on my left and negative 3 on my right. So then circle, x is less than or equals to negative 5. Empty circle, x is greater than negative 3. Locate the negative sign in the empty space. So finally we have negative, positive and negative. Now we're going to decide the region. But we need to refer the sign, which is a negative sign. So here we are our region. So finally, 
our answer will be negative infinity until negative 5. Union negative 3 until infinity when the negative 3 is not included. So now let's move on to the second part which is I'm going to combine the interval. So we have a value negative 5 followed by negative 3 and negative 15 over 7. So let's move on to the first interval. We have negative 3 and negative 15 over 7. So this will be the interval. Next part, I'm going to illustrate the second interval where we have then circle for negative 5 and empty circle for negative 3. So this will be the interval. Based on the definition n, we are going to find the intersection between the two interval. So here will be the region and second part will be the region. So my final answer will be negative infinity until negative 5 union from the negative 15 over 7 until infinity. So here we are and thanks for watching.